In this session of DesignWorks TV, we're going to be working on a gas tank. Utilize DesignWorks laser and probing. The main reason we're using the laser in this project is we do not want to scratch um, a, a surface like a gas tank or a car. So we're going to start off by doing an alignment. In this case, we're going to use uh, create a plane close to where the part's sitting on. Then we're going to be defining our X, Y, and origin. DesignWorks gave us the ability to create an alignment in any workspace you need to work in. In this case, we're going to use an unknown area since we're probably going to be mirroring this. We're featuring SolidWorks with the Romer Absolute Arm with a laser. So we're going to first just outline the tank. In this case, we've got a ruby probe, and we won't be scratching anything here. We don't need to actually drag on anything. So we're going to outline some areas where we want to do some containment. So we're going to go ahead and save our part. DesignWorks has the ability to reuse the data. So by saving this part, it allows us to recall the relational database. So we digitize some. Notice how you can mix and match commands. We scan some areas around the tank. DesignWorks gives you the ability to use the laser with containment in multiple windows and multiple views. In this case, we're going to just use some simple sketch data. We're going to go ahead now and capture some data around the, uh, the front face. Again, we're going to use this for containment. You're not restricted to just a plane. Think of um, looking through multiple windows. So what he's now he's doing, he's skinning on this uh, side face of this tank, and this is going to be used for one of our containments. And again, we can have containment on, on multiple views and multiple faces. We're going to simply outline the area we want to stay in. Also notice you can mix and match. He just used some DesignWorks command for some containment. And instead of you know having to do the whole thing with the probe, you can actually just simply draw some things. Pull, tug, whatever you want to do. Gives you a lot of flexibility. So now he's going to do some uh, containment on this other area that he might want to stay in. And he added a plane. So if you are a SOLIDWORKS user, you can see 90% of everything we're doing is the same look and feel of SOLIDWORKS because our toolbar was designed for you, the SOLIDWORKS user, in mind. So we're going to actually take the probe out, and we're going to go to scan mode. Again, the main goal to use this laser on this part was we didn't want to have to uh, put any scratches in it. The customer was uh, critical of what he wanted done. So notice how he can pick a containment boundary and a plane, or multiple planes. He's going to set a scanning to a certain distance, basically pull the trigger, and start scanning. So you can see on the screen, there's some green sections. That's actually the giving you indication that it is scanning. And in reality, all you have to do is align the dot. I don't know if you can see that in the video. There's a dot and a line. When you align those two up, everything's in focus. So it's scanning directly inside the SOLIDWORKS interface. So now he's going to actually create. And notice in the left-hand screen, of the screen, there's a dialog box that shows you're processing the data. So it processed all that data that quick. So notice there is a folder and the data is neatly put inside for you to use. So 
So we're gonna now utilize SolidWorks and use it for construction data. Because even though you were scanning using DesignWorks, you still can trim, extend, sketch, mirror, all the data. So our goal is to digitize half of this and mirror it. And again, all the data that was scanned can have relationships added to it, tangencies, whatever you want to, whatever you do with the normal SOLIDWORKS, you can do with all the scanning and probing data. So we're just going to extrude it from a midplane. Now we're going to go ahead and offset some planes on the face. You can scan through one plane or as many as you want. The nice thing about this product is you can reload data so you don't have to have all the planes at once. So again, he's going to focus the laser and start scanning. So again, you can see those temporary graphics, the green area, that shows the laser scanning through the plane. This allows you to do non-contact reverse engineering directly inside the SOLIDWORKS interface. He's going to take some more scans. Now in reality, you could cover the whole thing and add the planes whenever you wanted to. So he's going to go ahead and create. And again, the little dialog box, top left corner, shows you the processing. It's very, very fast. This Romer arm takes, oh, roughly around 30,000 points a second. So you can scan in very detailed objects. Now that we captured our uh, cross sections on the front face, we're going to go ahead and build the uh, we're going to loft those surfaces. So you can see there's the two cross sections we scanned. And again, you can scan horizontal, vertical, whatever you want. We didn't need a lot because we're going to go ahead and extend it using SOLIDWORKS. So now we're going to extend that face. And now we use SOLIDWORKS to trim it. So again, you're still going to be scanning in the same process you build this with your normal methodology of SOLIDWORKS. While he's working, we'll talk about again, we scanned the top, did a loft, we scanned the side face, did a loft. Now we're going back and we extend it and we're going to trim it. So the key to your success is truthfully knowing the tools of the modeler, in this case SOLIDWORKS. So you've seen how fast we can actually collect that data. So he trimmed it and actually did a mirror. Of so you're going to go ahead and thicken it and make it a true solid. Because up to this point we were, we were surfacing. And we used the arm to figure out what size fillet was going to go in there. So rather than trying to scan the fillet, we used the arm to capture that size. And we used a SOLIDWORKS tool to put the fillet in. Now we can go ahead and actually mirror the other half of the tank. Now we'll go ahead and put in the uh, area where the gas tank fills. On this case, we're inside there, so it's not going to really scratch it. So we're going to use the probe. So the nice flexibility you have, you can use the laser for freeform scanning non-contact, and then you can put the probe in for areas that you want to do direct cuts or where it wouldn't possibly scratch it. So it gives you a lot of flexibility by using these tools. So you created a plane with DesignWorks. Now we'll go ahead and just um, create that circle. And again, that's going to represent the fill area of the tank. I 
And if he wanted to here, he actually could uh, laser, but we didn't think it was necessary to laser scan this area because we're going to go ahead and just make the uh, fill hole. And then we use the arm, in this case, to figure out what the fillet would be. We know what that fillet's going to be. And again, we use SOLIDWORKS tools. So the nice thing is, the arm in some cases, for just creating part, it can be used to find out fillet sizes and things like that. And we got one more area, and again, this part here, after he makes the hole, we'll probably do the cutout around the front. And again, we're not going to scratch it there, so it's much easier to just probe that and do a cut. You have the right tools for the project. Use a laser when you need a laser, and use a probe when you need the probe. So for this cutout area, I'm just going to go ahead and grab it an area there. We'll cut this front face off. And again, you can mix and match command. So we capture that curvature area he wants to cut off on the gas tank with DesignWorks. And he can use SOLIDWORKS to extend it, trim, whatever he wants to do with it. This gives you a lot of freedom using DesignWorks, in this case SOLIDWORKS. He does his cut. Then we have one more area we want to do. We cut out this area here that goes around the frame. So again, in this area, we're not worried about scratching it, and we want an exact area, so we're going to use a probe in this case. You can use, in this case, we're going to be using a spline, but you could do a fit geometry to lines, arcs, circles, and make it fully parametric. Since it's just clearance, we'll probably just go ahead and use the spline tool. We'll extend this out past the tank, and then we'll do a cut to cut this out. In this case, you could use the arm, or in this case, use SOLIDWORKS. Again, you can mix and match. Since this is a cut through all, we'll just cut the whole thing. So you see in a minute, you can create a complete complex surface and model using design works. In this case, we were mix and matching non-contact scanning using laser, the Romer laser with the probing.